know, that's uh, a pretty unique animal even by Australian standards. Outside of Western Australia, they're not very well known. They're a small marsupial and they solely survive off termites and the sheer number that they eat, you know, each day is roughly about 20,000, so that's pretty impressive. They're endangered. Um, the current population estimate globally is only a thousand animals. So they do have a really large range across kind of arid and semi-arid Australia, all the way from Western New South Wales to Western Australia, but now they're only found outside of fence reserves in southwest Western Australia. Mount Gibson Sanctuary is about four and a half hours drive from Perth. We've got a, a feral predator free fenced area of about 7,800 hectares, the largest in Western Australia. So numbats were regionally extinct from the area of Mount Gibson. So in January 2016, we started the numbat reintroduction program. So we sourced numbats from two other AWC sanctuaries and also some captive bred animals from Perth Zoo. We've released 64 numbats at Mount Gibson. And since that time, we've been continually kind of monitoring them with camera traps. But basically, we just want to establish self-sustaining, genetically viable populations of these endangered species that are struggling in other parts of Australia. It was a really rare occasion to see a numbat inside the fenced area and now it's reasonably common to see a numbat driving around. So that's pretty exciting in the scheme of when you think about a thousand animals left. <laughs>